All right, well, we're just about uh, done our Oscar special here, but we're going to talk about a few more things uh, that are on our mind. Uh, for Best Picture, um, I are actually... Are they doing 10 films this year again? They are doing 10 films again. Um, the I guess most, most, most of the films that are in my top 10 list are being considered for Best Picture. Obviously, Inception, Social Network, um, even 127 Hours is being for Best Picture, uh, even Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 is where the controversy comes in. Yeah, I don't think that was the best animated film of this year. You don't want to wish your favorite. No. Um, How to Train Your Dragon. Another fantastic yeah. film. A fantastic film. By I either. don't necessarily think that either should be nominated for Best Picture. I don't think they quite, unlike last year when they included Up in yes. the, um, Best, Picture the Best Picture category, only because there was 10 nominated. Mm -hmm. I mean, if any film is going to, any animated film is going to get nominated for Best Picture this year, probably will be Toy Story 3, unfortunately. Um, I, I mean, Toy Story 3 was good, but it's the same thing we've seen, you know, the past... 20 years, right? <laughs> or however long it's uh, I, I, 15 I, years that Toy Story's been around. Um, How to Train Your Dragon was very original and endearing, and it was just everything that you want in an animated film. I, I still love Toy Story 3 for the sheer fact that uh, it actually just seemed to be more emotionally driven than the other two. And even the other two were, they were very emotionally driven, but this one just seemed to just. That's nice, but we're not aspects. comparing it to the other two films, we're comparing it to the films that were made this year. Well, I, I actually enjoyed Toy Story 3 still better than any of the film this year. Maybe it's just because I, I have an affection for it uh, since I was 12 years old, so... That's nice. We're also comparing it to the films made this year. Uh, Not I, to the I, films made when you were 12. <laughs> I'm just saying, I thought Toy Story 3 was fantastically That's done fine. and deserves, it deserves its recognition. It does deserve recognition in its appropriate category, I animated think, film. I think Best Picture is more than appropriate for it. <laughs> This, this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so sure you are. I think we should include animated film in our, in our uh, Who Should Win show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we might just do this. This is a bonus. We have to have controversy. We will, we will. Because we've agreed on the most part so <laughs> yeah. far. We, with the exception of our usual Jeff Bridges argument. <laughs> I think it's going to become tradition. But, <laughs> but yes, uh, no, I, I, again, but, uh, in terms of animated films, it actually has been a solid year. In general, I think one thing we can agree on. Absolutely. For animated films, even Tangled, I really, uh, really I enjoy. It. Yeah, I and I'm not a big fan of like the newer animated films that have been coming out, like the the CG films. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just kind of like, eh, yeah, you're there, but. You know. I, I loved Up last year, and I also loved The Incredibles some years back. But uh, overall, I would say that yes, they're they, all very they typical. Really, <laughs> but this year you had How to Train Your Dragon, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, which made me laugh out loud. It was funny, yeah. You know, Tangled, like. Solid films that are original. Despicable Me, Despicable uh, Mega Me, Mind, yes. yeah, yeah, uh, very, and it's it's nice to see. This has probably been the most solid year for animated films in quite some time. Um, I also found too that because I remember a few years back you had movies like Fly Me to the Moon, which were just bad, and same with Space Chimps, not good either. Uh, you had a lot of them; they were just trying way too hard to yeah. be clever and witty, and have you had a lot of like animated films that were for kids but disguised as adults, adult films like. Like Space Jam, um, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, to, they had a lot of like more they're adult fun. humor, and they're trying to you know do the best. Or you could just be normal. I think too many films try to follow the more of Shrek in that uh, category, yeah. which is why Shrek was big for that kind of thing. You know, kind of incorporating kids and adult humor mm -hmm. in that. Uh, but well, not I don't mean adult humor. That I mean humor that adults will understand because they get the references. And yeah, like. exactly. Yeah. But uh, yes, no. The animated category is definitely looking better than yeah. it ever has Absolutely. in many many years. Uh, another one to. Um, that uh, goes back to Best Picture here. Again, last year, my ten, top 10 list was dramatically different. I was having maybe three or four films that uh, got actually done on it. This year, it was a little more on the ones that are being considered. Uh, but again, that was just lucky coincidence, I think. Um, well, the, the films that were uh, are nominated for Best Picture this year, or will be nominated for Best Picture, they all deserve it. There, there's Last year, I think, you know, you had the five you know top runners, and then the other five were just kind of like, they were good films, but it's they were only there movie. because they had 10 films nominated, they, yeah. as opposed to actually really d making their way into the category. This year, I'm glad they have, they have 10 spots because there are a lot of films that, are, that deserve it. I mean, mm -hmm. you have the top you know, five, Social Network, King's Speech, The Fighter, um, Inception, and I always forget the last one. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a tendency to do that too. I can list like three or four movies and I'm just miss the Well, film. whatever the last one is. Yeah, it's it, either way. It's, but then you have 127 Hours, yes. Blue Valentine, True Grit, you know, other films that, that actually, you know, deserve to be nominated. So 
Right. It'll be a really good race. Um, I'll leave who I think should and will win till uh, the next show. We will, yeah. But um, again, if any of the films nominated win, it would be satisfying because they all deserve it. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and anything else you want to add uh, in terms of this year's uh, Oscar special? Um, well, again, um, I haven't seen a lot of films to really kind of input who should or should be overlooked. Um, but uh, I've seen all of the, the top runners, the, the major films. Oh, Black Swan, that's the other one. Mm. And, yes, um, yes. Yeah. and they're all solid. They have excellent casts. Good performances from everyone in the cast, yes. supporting and I mean, Black Swan, Vincent Castle, yes. Mila Kunis, even the woman who played Natalie Portman's mother. Barbara Hershey. Yeah, yeah. all Fantastic. excellent performances. You know, The Fighter, you had Amy Adams, Melissa Leo, who's been nominated yes, for, not for lead actress in the past. Like, excellent, excellent casts and performances and just overall film quality. And it's really great to see because the last last couple of years have really been lacking so you know hopefully this will move us into 2011 and we'll have a lot more good films and not all this you know yeah, another thing overdone and redone and it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it was getting more done there for a while yeah, but uh, it's refreshing to see such a uh, variety it really is and I also gotta say too another uh, another movie I think that I would say I think will be Consider now as uh, Barney's version, which you Christian mm -hmm. Paul Giamatti when uh, Golden Globe. I always an underrated actor, in my opinion. Uh, was overlooked for Sideways years ago, but actually got recognition for Cinderella Man. Mm -hmm. um, he's a, he just. <laughs> it's nice to see him come into a movie. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. <laughs> I was watching. I'm like, yeah, I love this. <laughs> I love the fact that he did that. He's, yeah, yeah. He's a really likable actor. And he, he's movies, he's yes. he's, a, he's a very he plays a lot of supporting roles. Um, like yeah, you mentioned, he was, he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for Cinderella yeah, Man, really good. and um, he just, he's one of those actors that just kind of like pops up out of nowhere, like Sean Bean, you watch a movie, you're like, hey, it's Sean Bean again, I've seen him in like 50 things. Paul Giamatti does yeah. that too. And, he, and he's, you know, but he's a solid actor, and it's really great to see him kind of come into his own as a, as a lead actor, and... American um, Splendor is a movie to check out with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um... I haven't again. I haven't seen Marnie's version. I feel really bad, but <laughs> I do. I, I do want to. I do want to see it. Um, and again, the supporting cast is amazing. Rosamund Pike. Yes. <laughs> yes. Such a good actress. Movie. Rochelle Lefebvre, who I'm so glad to see her doing something that isn't Twilight. Um, <laughs> uh, Minnie Driver. Yeah. Like, these are good. And Dustin Hoffman. Like finally playing someone his age. It seems. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's so awesome to see these actors do films, and even bringing it back to The Kids Are Alright, which may get a Best Picture nomination as well, because um, it is a front runner for acting. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Ruffalo. Yes, and, um, yes, I think he'll get on Who's the girl that was in Alice in Wonderland? I can never pronounce her, it's Mia Wasikowska. She's I just, that's how I say it. Yes, but she's very good. But it's, it's nice it's to see her do, like, plus she's, she, her breakout role was Alice in Wonderland, and in the same year she's doing movies with Annette Bening and uh, Julianne, Julianne Moore. Moore. So it's really great to see the variety of characters that people are playing. Um, I mean, it's sad not to see Meryl Streep. And anything to be nominated for this year, but maybe next year. <laughs> oh, I think, I think it won't be long. We it never go long. Will not, no, yeah. We never 17 go long. Seventeen nominations. Come on. We never go long. I think she'll make twenty before her uh, career. I hope so. Sure. And I, she better win again. If she doesn't win again, I'm. I no. Listen, she, I have no threat. <laughs> she's only in her sixties. I think that she could win for the next twenty years into her eighties, into her eighties if, if she makes it that long. I hope she does, because uh, I really think that she's one of those actresses that just should never stop making movies. Absolutely. And, and I, I think. She, Knowing knowing the, the personality she possesses, she'll be making movies until the very end of her life, in my opinion. I think we'll probably get like a movie she'll or two. She'll die she on dies. set, yeah. <laughs> in, <laughs> on camera. I think that's, that's how wants, realistic she, she is. wants to go out that way. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> but no, it's been a, it's been an interesting year, definitely this year um, overall. I think that, um, like I said again earlier this year, there was I just saw a few performances and movies that stood out early in the year, but there were very few. Mm -hmm. um, my, this usually last few years comedies have been fantastic. Do you think Eclipse deserves a nomination? Uh, for a Razzie, maybe. Uh, actually, no, Eclipse actually wasn't as bad as New Moon was, to be quite honest with you. I thought New Moon was a lot worse. Um, Eclipse was actually some, passable on some markets, but I still didn't recommend the film. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was still, at least I didn't find myself just wanting to, just to knock myself out. Yeah, the film. At, at least I made it through the whole movie, yes. I made it through the whole movie without 
wincing or whatever, but <laughs> still either way. Um, but I, I do like Kristen Stewart, I should say for the record. She's had a lot of great performances this year, uh, Yellow Handkerchief yeah. being one of them, um, with uh, William Hurt. Um, I think that she's really come a long way with the Runaways, uh, which she did a while back. Again, I just think that she has uh, a lot she of talent. She play a drug addict. Yes, yeah. She's <laughs> really good at it. She, yeah. She's played stuff still similar to it. She does kind of do that in Welcome to the Riley. She kind of plays okay. like somebody, not a drug addict, but somebody like that sort of. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, she's really she's really getting a lot of films this year, and I hope she keeps uh, she keeps on moving. And get I think she'll start on the Twilight Shadow. I'm not so sure about Mr. Pattinson or Mr. Wagner, but uh, I could really care less. But uh, <laughs> Fair enough. if they do, they do. Whatever, fine. More power to them. But if they don't, I'm not going to sleep over it. But anyway, yes, uh, you, uh, you're uh, actually going to be in a, uh, a little uh, show coming up. Yes. Play, yes. Um... Sleeping Beauty playing at the Binbrook Little Theater, February 4th to 20th. Um, it's weekend shows only, Friday nights at 7 and Saturday Sundays at 2 p.m. And I am Sleeping Beauty. So you should come out and see it and get your tickets. Um, just go to, uh, you'll have to Google Binbrook Little Theater because <laughs> I don't know the phone number or the website. Uh -oh. It's on my, it's bookmarked, so I don't need to know it. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, you should come check it out. And um, it's only $10 for a ticket, so. Yeah, it'd be great to see you all there, and I will see you on the other side of that when I come back for our Who Oscar We Think special. We Should Win for yes, the Oscars, yes, my if, favorite. If we pick the winners, yes, we had a great time with that last <laughs> yep, year, we have a great yep. time with that. And we're going to include animated so we can get a nice little oh, yes. controversy. Oh, yes. <laughs> but uh, yes, we will be back for that special, and I will be at the Sleeping Beauty uh, presentation. Uh, Please check it out. Uh, if any single girls want to come, I'll reserve a seat uh, on each side. There's one more around. <laughs> but uh, yes, absolutely. I will definitely be there and awesome. you should all come too. But that is it for this week's edition of Bill Chasing the Movies. A great special spin. Thank you once again Thank for joining for me. Thank you for having me. And I will be back next week. We're back again to format with reviews of movies uh, such as Barney's version and Maiden Dagenham, which I did mention up here on this show, and uh, as well as The Green Hornet and many others. And that is it for this week. And until next week, I am Bill Chase. I'll be at the movies. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>